नमस्कार गुड आफ्टरनून यू आर वाचिंग मी ऑन ई विद्या चैनल्स एंड एन सी ऑफिशियल यूट्यूब चैनल दिस इज आर लाइव इंटरेक्टिव सेशन ऑफ क्लास थर्ड एंड सब्जेक्ट इज इंग्लिश टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न चैप्टर एंड द नेम ऑफ द चैप्टर इज द एनॉमस टर्निप यू ऑल आर अवेयर अबाउट टर्निप सभी ने अपने अपने घरों में देखा होगा बट दिस इज द एनॉमस टर्निप सो बी विद अस इन दिस लाइव इंटरेक्टिव सेशन यू कैन कॉल अस with any of your questions and queries uh, 8800440559 is the number and the email id of class 3 which will be flashed on the screen i would like to invite on screen and connect uh, ms shobhana day she is the former school principal cbse shobhana ji namaskar and a very warm welcome namaste students namaskar rahul ji uh, good to have you here uh, the enormous turnip kaise aaj aap padhane wali hain class should be very interactive and very interesting because class 3 hai तो हमारे जो नन्हे मुन्ने स्टूडेंट्स हैं उनके लिए ऐसी क्लास होनी चाहिए जो खेल खेल में वो सीख लें बिल्कुल बिल्कुल सो नमस्ते वंस अगेन स्टूडेंट्स एंड आई एम सो ग्लैड टू बी हियर अगेन विद यू दिस टाइम आई हैव ब्रॉट अ वेरी वेरी हिलेरियस टॉपिक एंड द नेम ऑफ द चैप्टर एज सर इज ऑलरेडी मेंशन इट इज द इनॉमस टर्निप दिस इज यूनिट 3 ऑफ योर इंग्लिश टेक्स्ट बुक मारीगोल्ड एंड आर यू ऑलरेडी सर आर यू रेडी यस Okay, before I start uh, today's topic, I would like to ask you, and since Sir is the only one whom I am speaking directly over here, mm -hmm. and the students virtually, I want to know, Sir, uh, what are your favorite fruits and vegetables, particularly in this season? Mm. If I talk about uh, oh, guava, guava. Okay, guava, of course, yeah. And. Uh, maybe apple we can add okay what about vegetables uh carrot carrot sir loves carrot peas yeah peas yes green peas yes carrot. green peas so uh, sir green peas and carrot so green peas are something which grows above the earth and carrot is a root vegetable yes. which grows under the earth hmm. okay hmm. so have you ever ever uh, tried planting a uh, seed एक छोटी सी सीड को right. आपने प्लांट किया है यस यस स्कूल में किया है यस एंड इजंट इट फन टू सी द स्मॉल सीड जर्मिनेटेड जर्मिनेटेड यस आई आई हैड एक्सपीरियंस इट ग्रोस यस द रूट्स लाइक अ थ्रेड इट कम्स डाउन द अर्थ एंड द शूट गोस अबव द अर्थ एंड इट डेवलप्स इनटू स्मॉल लीव्स लेटर ऑन इट ग्रोस बिगर बिगर गिव्स फ्रूट्स एंड फ्लावर्स स्टूडेंट्स इजंट इट अमेजिंग यस 100% so students uh, that reminds me of a poem that we had learned in our previous session do you hmm. remember that is the poem that we had learned uh, the name is little by little do you remember we had learned about the acorn you know the acorn says that it sank in the mossy bed and gradually every day little by little it grew and it grew to an extent that it became a huge big oak tree and that is a mighty oak tree the mighty tree the pride of the forest so a small little seed it germinates and it develops and it grows uh, taking the moisture from the soil and the sunlight from the sun and it grows into a huge mighty tree so today we will be learning something related to a seed and now you know it is uh, something which is uh, you know very uh, not normal you have not seen a vegetable like an enormous turnip the title suggests <coughs> okay So now I will show you something on your screen. Hmm. Uh, can you tell me, sir, what is this? What does it look like? Mm. Uh, this is turnip. Ah, sir, <laughs> yes, you are absolutely correct. <laughs> Children must have also seen this is a turnip. Can you see the size? Yes, and we have seen. And a small little, you know, thin Roots. thread which yes. is going down, hmm. and this is the root, and the entire uh, vegetable. grows under the soil hmm. under the earth hmm. and then we have to dig it out of the soil and then we have to use it the way you we want to use and see the beautiful color it's purple over here hmm. whitish White. and this and it is small little thread like things and this is the root hmm. so how beautiful it looks yes but children we have something else today you know we are going to learn of a turnip which is not of a regular size it is huge it is huge means it is bigger than you and me hmm. so it is so unnatural yes it's hilarious 
So okay. here we will come to know that an old man is going to, he is, he is you know, planted some seeds in his garden. Mm. And uh, with the rain water falling on it, it sprouts and it grows into a nice turnip. But gradually what happens? It becomes so huge, so huge that it is impossible for the uh, old man to dig it out. Now let us see what happens. Is he able to dig it out himself? Or does he need help for someone? Hmm. So right now you will listen to the story which I read and later on we will read it together. All right? Okay. So here, enormous turnip. Once upon a time, an old man planted some turnip seeds. Turnip seeds grew. Turnip seeds grew and grew. Can you see how gradually it is growing bigger and bigger? Hmm. So it grew and grew. So the turnip is under the soil and the leaves are popping out of the earth. I want to pull up the enormous turnip, said the old man. Old man pulled and pulled, pulled and pulled. But did it come out? No, it did not come out. So what was the old man thinking? How do I take it out? How do I take it out? So he could not pull out even whatever strength he put. The enormous turnip remained where it was. And an old woman came. Who came? An old woman came. Hmm. I want to pull up that enormous turnip, said the old man. I will help you, said the old man, such a generous lady. She immediately, you know, said that she will help him out pull that turnip. The old man and the old woman pulled and pulled, both of them together. Now he was pulling alone. Now see, together both of them are pulling it out. And they could not pull. What happened? Saw a boy coming. So a boy came. He wanted to pull that enormous turnip, said the old woman. The old man and the old woman and the boy pulled and pulled. Could not pluck enormous turnip. Three of them together could not pull up that enormous turnip. You can imagine how strong the roots were and how big the turnip was. The three people together could not pull it out. Then a girl came. The girl comes, you know, now what will happen? The boy says, we want to pull up that enormous turnip, said the boy. I will help you, said the girl. The girl was so excited. She immediately got ready to help. The old man and the old woman and the boy and the girl. How many? Four of them. First it was only the old man. Then it was the old woman, then this little boy, and now the little girl. All four of them together started pulling the turnip out. And what do you think? Are they successful in pulling it out? Let's see. Okay. Yes. Up came the enormous turnip. They were able to see what a big hole it has formed in the earth. This is because the entire turnip has come out. They're so happy and joyful. And all said, we will help you eat the enormous turnip. Who said? The boy, the girl and the old woman said that we will help you eat the enormous turnip. Why? Because it's such a huge turnip. The old man would definitely not be able to eat it, the whole, the, eat the whole thing himself. So they said, and they, what they did? The, they said the old woman and the boy and the girl, and they together cooked the turnip and they enjoyed it. So that's how the entire turnip you know, the huge turnip was uprooted out of the ground and cooked into a delicious meal. Wasn't it amazing and hilarious? Yes, yes. sir. So now that... we are going to read the story aloud together. Okay. So children, take out the lesson in your book. It is Unit 3, Chapter 6. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you must have already taken it out. Mm. Yes. Yeah, so you will read along with me. Okay. okay. So let's read aloud. Enormous turnip. Once upon a time, an old man planted some turnip seeds. The turnip seeds grew. The, the turnip seeds grew and grew. I want to pull up the enormous turnip, said the old man. The old man pulled and pulled, but he could not pull up the enormous turnip. An old woman came. I want to pull up that enormous turnip, said the old man. I will help you, said the old woman. The old man and the old woman pulled and pulled, but they could not pull up the enormous turnip. Boy came. 
we want to fill up that enormous tunnel. This time who says? This time the woman says. And the boy answered, you already know. He said, yes, I will help you, said the boy. Old man and the old woman and the boy pulled and pulled. But they could not pull up the enormous tunnel. Then the girl came and they, again the, bo the boy said that we want to pull up the tunnel but it's not coming out. And the girl said, I will help you, said the girl. The old man and the old woman and the boy and the girl pulled up and pulled up. Up came the enormous turnip and we will help you to eat the enormous turnip, said the old woman and the boy and the, and the girl. And they all did. They were so happy to be having a feast on that huge turnip. So isn't it hilarious, children? Now, we will, uh, you have heard the word enormous so many times. So this is a new word for you, children. So you must, the meaning is already there in your note, in your textbook. But the meaning is extremely huge. It's a big size. So here I showed you the turnip, which is a regular size. But mm -hmm. this particular turnip is a big size. I said bigger than you, bigger than me, huge. Mm -hmm. So like for example, you can say a huge building when you say, you can say an enormous house. I said turnip, turnip, turnip. Like Rahul sir just now said that he loves carrot. Okay, so that is also a root vegetable. So here we are talking about a turnip, which is a root vegetable. And children, you know, the leaves are also edible. And you can eat the leaves. And it's very, very nutritious for our health. So it's a very, very healthy vegetable. We heard about old woman. We heard about old man. And I don't think I need to explain the meaning. Of course, your grandparents are old people. So they will be old man and old woman. Usually they are above 60 years of age. Hmm. So like you can say that, you know, sometimes you help your grandma doing something. So that is your lending your hand to support her, to assist her doing her work. So that gives you such a good feeling. And we also learned about a new word, pulled. Because all the time, the old man pulled. The old man pulled it along with the old woman. Then the, the three came. That is, the boy also joined. Three of them pulled. The girl came. Four of them pulled. So pulled is something which we heard again and again. So we learned about a word, enormous, turnip, old woman, old man, and pulled. So you have to learn the spellings, children. And also the meaning. Try to frame different sentences out of it. All right, students? Well, let me ask you a few questions. Rahul sir, if you please, you can take the questions. Yes, okay. I can what see. What did the old man plant? A seed. Yes, very good. The old man planted on it seeds. Hmm. Several seeds on the ground. Hmm. Why was it difficult for the old man to pull up the turnip? Because it was very enormous. It was huge. It was very enormous. Hmm. So beautifully said, sir. It was difficult for the old man to pull up the turnip because the turnip was huge. Hmm. So children, whenever you tell a, an answer, it has to start with the entire sentence. Right. All right. So you will say it was difficult for the old man to pull up the turnip because the turnip was huge. huge. So that frames your answer. Hmm. Who helped him uh, to pull up the turn enormous turnip? Uh, he helped by the woman and the boy and the girl. Very good. Sir knows the entire chapter, children. And I'm, I'm sure you also must have learned. So there was first the old man alone could not uh, uh, pull it up. Old woman, a boy and a girl hmm. helped him pull out the enormous turnip. Hmm. And who ate the enormous turnip? <clears throat> mm. They all ate together? Very good. The old man, the old woman, the boy and the girl, all four of them ate the enormous turnip. What do you think they must have cooked out of it? <laughs> it was a recipe of uh, a very <laughs> a tasty, uh, tasty vegetable. Yeah, they could have made a curry out of it mm. or a dry dry dish mm. or they made, uh, must have made a soup out of it, mm. which either way are very delicious, very nutritious for all of us. So children, this will be there uh, for you. You will have to learn the answers and write it down. Mm. You must write it down so that you don't go wrong in the spellings. Mm. Now here you have to draw four vegetables. This is given in your notebook, in your textbook, children. 
and you have to also name them in your own language. I have done it for you and I have also pasted a picture of how it looks when it grows on the ground in the field when you dug out. Hmm. So potato, alu, sabka pasand sa cheese hai. Sir, yes. aapko pasand hai alu? Yes. So sabhi ko alu pasand hai. Sir, ko to carrot bahut pasand hai. Hmm. Ho ne abhi bataya. Hmm. Aur phir onion, that is pyaas. Hmm. Then garlic, that is lesson. Hmm. So these are all root vegetables. Other than that, we have beetroot, we have radish and we also have a turnip which grows under the soil. Okay. Now children, let's go shopping. Here is a password. Here is a puzzle, a maze. And here, once one uh, vegetable is marked for you, that is potato. The clue is given all around and you have to find and locate these vegetables from the entire maze. So you will circle it out. So I am giving you the answer here. Okay. Mm -hmm. What are those? It's a turnip, beans, peas, carrot and a tomato so these are the things and you have to do it in your exercise children you will do it very easily i'm sure use any color pencil that you want what is your favorite right pencil. here we will also learn since we have learned a new word pull okay hmm. so we have to know what is the opposite of pull opposite of push. pull is push. push what is the opposite of black white white true false False, right. Wrong. Wrong. And there are some more words which I have given over here. This far is near, good, bad, dark, light, up and down, old and young. And there are many more words in your uh, book which you can uh, use it. Here is a very, very interesting, you know, uh, activity that you can do as a team. I'm sure sir has done in his school days. So what you have to do, you have to take a glass, you have to take a blotting paper. Hmm. Instead of a blotting paper, children, you can take moist cotton. Hmm. Cotton ko pani mein bhi ko ke aap use kar sakte ho. Fill the entire glass with some soil, that is sand, and line the entire glass inside with this blotting paper or the cotton. And if we, in between the glass and the cotton, you have to place some soaked rajma seed or a chana seed or any peas, you have to soak it. So after a few days, what will you see? You will see that the small roots, you know, the thin roots like this will come down of the seed and from the glass above, the sapling will, will come out, the leaves will come out. So this is very, very interesting and you will have to show it to the sunlight also once the sapling comes out and that is how the seed germinates. Do it along with your friends. Hmm. So each one of you can decide to bring whatever you want to do. And your mother will help you, you know, provide you with the rajma seeds or the peas. <clears throat> so please let me know about the time if I am running short. No, no, you have uh, you have enough time of five six minutes. May okay, please sir, carry I'll on. Complain. All yeah, right. Sure. So what a colorful salad, sir. Hmm. Are you liking it? Uh, yes. Salad, dekh raha. Bilkul dikhai de raha hai So children, this is such an easy way of making a healthy salad for all your family. So hmm. in your winter vacation, tell your mom to cut a chop of your carrot and tomato. What you have to do, you can use some peas also and like two teaspoons I have written over here, you can take and you know, squeeze out one lemon, hmm. put some salt mm -hmm. and mix it well and serve it very nicely. You can decorate it the way you want to do. Right. And name it a friendship salad. Hmm. Okay. So it will be so beautiful. You right. can use beetroot also. Whatever you want to use, mm -hmm. you can use. It will be very tasty. More than taste, it is very good for your health. You will get vitamin C, vitamin A from tomato. You get vitamin C and vitamin A from carrot. And uh, uh, you also get vitamin C from your lemon. And it is so, so, so nutritious for you. Right. Now, uh, how do you like to eat these vegetables? Raw or cooked? Carrot? Raw ya cooked? I like both of them. Very good. Turnip? Mm, cooked. Cooked. Potato? Uh, cooked. Kacha potato to nahi khayenge <laughs> uh, Onion? Ah, uh, both ways. Chalega. Both ways. Beans, kacha khayenge? Uh, no. 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 Cooked only. Yeah. yeah. So only two things we can eat. Wrong. <laughs> uh, that is carrot and onion. The rest are all supposed to be cooked Good. and eaten. Okay, right. because we are human beings, we cannot have certain vegetables when it is uh, raw. Right. So 
name four vegetables that you ate last week. I have done what I have eaten last week. Okay. That is potatoes, peas, cauliflower, and spinach. spinach. Sir, you have cauliflower. We will eat cauliflower. Spinach will be eaten. Yes. Yesterday I ate. Yes. Okay. So these are all. Yes. So these are the vegetables which my children are definitely eating because mummy to banai gi hi. Yeah. And uh, you know, uh, mama running after their kids to uh, you know feed them yeah, yeah. Uh, the vegetables. Otherwise, they don't like it most of they the time. They don't like to eat vegetables. Right, so right. Nice. Sir, but if you put these vegetables in noodles mm, or mm, in soup, they mm. will jump for it. Yes, and, agreed. And if you make a you know pizza out of it and right. put the toppings of cauliflower and spinach, they mm -hmm. will definitely run for it. Right, right. So, agreed. Uh, yeah, mamas have also become smart. Hmm. they have to so find some ways they have to find some ways to feed their kids na <laughs> so yes. that, they, they uh, are very innovative sir yes but uh, they are very innovative they know how to feed the child so they'll make different new recipes right right so and children also should learn and how to eat and how to cook also <laughs> right so here children we are doing one and many mm -hmm. so one carrot makes it many carrots one turnip makes it many turnips okay onion many onions, onions potato many potatoes tomato Many tomatoes. tomatoes. So this is one and many. That is singular and plural. Right. Okay. Uh, here are some words which you have. There is a clue given. You have to circle the odd man out. Hmm. The first one clue is vegetable. All are vegetable, but one is not a vegetable. I am giving you the answer. You can find it out. Don't look at the answer. But right now I'll be telling the answer. Sunflower. Just one potato, carrot, and brinjal are vegetable. Sunflower is a flower, so it's an odd man out. Right. Second one, melon is a fruit. It is not an animal. The rest are all animals. Then third one is a, a snake. Is not a tree. Banyan is a tree. Neem, people, mango, apple are all trees. But snake is a reptile. Then the fourth one, uh, cauliflower is not a flower. Rose, lily, sunflower, and lotus are flower. Cauliflower is a vegetable. Then we have peacock, parrot, lizard, crow, and woodpecker. So lizard is again a reptile, and we have the other as birds. So these are the odd man out. It's fun doing it, children. Do it, and yes. these words are there for you to <coughs> speak aloud. Full, right. Full, full, cool and cut. Full, root and butt. Put, shoot and shut. So you have to read it aloud so you know the correct pronunciation. Hmm. So the moral of the story, children. It is most most important for you. we have seen that it was not possible for the old man to pull out the turnip himself right. he needed help hmm. so it was a team work a team hmm. of four hmm. the old woman the little boy and the little uh, girl hmm. they united together and pulled the turnip mm -hmm. out and up came the turnip so whenever it is a team work it makes the task easier and it is fun they enjoy doing it they don't take it as a botheration we must appreciate everyone around us and always help them always right. assist sometimes right. you must help your milk man your newspaper man mm -hmm. help them you know so it doesn't take much even your household uh, you know the the lady who comes to clean your house and all you must help them so your house help your mama you must help to fill up water so many other ways so without assistance the elderly woman the girl and boy and old woman would not have been able to pull out the Turn it. Turn it. And one should one should not feel small or sad when they are do, doing things alone. Hmm. So whenever required, you must ask for help. कोई छोटा या बड़ा नहीं हो जाता help करने से. तो हमेशा मदद मांगो अगर जरूरत है. और मदद करो अगर किसी को जरूरत है. Moral uh, of the story uh, जो है मैं आपसे कहने ही वाला था. परंतु उससे पहले ही आपने उसको share किया. और मुझे लगता है that is the gist of this session. क्योंकि इस पूरे chapter का मुझे लगता है जो सबसे अहम जो एक मैसेज है वो यही है कि कैसे आप मिलकर काम करते हैं और आप अपना जो टारगेट है वो अचीव करते हैं टीम वर्क बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है शोभना जी आप हमारे साथ जुड़ी एंड यू टुक दिस वंडरफुल सेशन ऑफ द इनॉमस टर्न इन डिफरेंट डिफरेंट वे थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर बीइंग विद अस फॉर दिस वंडरफुल सेशन थैंक यू थैंक यू नमस्कार स्टूडेंट सी यू अगेन थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू सर श्योर नमस्कार हमारा ये इंग्लिश का सेशन हम यहीं समाप्त करेंगे आप कहीं मत जाइएगा थोड़ी ही देर में हाजिर होंगे अगला सेशन लेकर देखते रहिए ई विद्या चैनल्स और एन का ऑफिशियल यूट्यूब चैनल नमस्कार